Okay. Okay, so Ali runs 5Ks, 10Ks. She's then just done a sprint triathlon. Okay. Any, any problems, any injuries? Um, my feet always go numb. Feet always go numb? Yeah, after 20 minutes. Constantly feeling through my shins. Okay. I've got all the in the Okay. So she has orthotics in, pain, numbness, pain in the feet, numbness in the, in the feet, in the toes, and shins hurt, right? Can you enjoy running? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So Michael is going to um, look at the speed that Ali's doing. Okay, we're going to video it from the back and from the front. I'm going to try and keep my mouth shut um, until Michael has recorded it and put it in, in the program. Um, the reason we put it in, in a piece of software, twofold really. One is the naked eye can see about six frames a second. But as soon as you use a video camera, at the very least, it's 14 frames. And if you use a piece of software that can slow it down, we can just see more clearly what happens. But as I said, we look at the whole of the body. So we don't just look at you from the knees downwards, we look at the whole of the body. And that's what we're gonna do with Ali. <coughs> Michael's gonna do a couple of uh, videos. Any other questions while we're waiting? Or we're watching Ali? Yes? Well, I've had several serious knee injuries. Yeah. Now, to be fair, I've not allowed to work on a treadmill at all. Okay, very good question. Why are you not allowed on the treadmill? Um, my physio has said that if I do that, I will end up eating it for me if I'm with you. Okay, so you're allowed to run outside yeah. on grass, only on grass? Um, I do train occasionally on tarmac because I do triathlons and I can't just race on grass. Okay, and, and do you think that tarmac is softer than a treadmill? She doesn't know what she's talking about. Okay? <laughs> and I can tell you that. It's, uh, we'll have a look at your running technique downstairs if you know. Most treadmills are softer than tarmac. Okay? But it's not about just about the surface. It's about how you hit the surface. And that's what's important. How many knee injuries have you had? Six operations. Six operations? Yeah. And, and was the ACL through... Gymnastics, okay, so slightly different. That's before you started running. Okay. So, in probably about 95% of the cases when you've had a serious knee injury, if you haven't been taught how to run again, your body just compensates. It's an amazing machine, the body. Okay? So it says, oh, I've got a problem there. It's okay, I'll use other muscle groups to do the job. Okay, and then we send that, end up running and limping. Okay? But we're not in any pain because the body says that's fine. Okay? So, we see a lot of people like you every day, okay? And the first thing we do is we look at the biomechanics and change the way they run because of the, the way that their landing is, is probably what's causing the problem. You okay, Ali? I haven't said a word. I haven't said a word. Okay. Okay. Any other questions while we're waiting for Michael? Yes. Sorry, tell me again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I find running very difficult to impact. Yeah. Um, I also find I find very difficult running treadmills and on tarmac. Okay. First, if we start from the top, if you look at where the arms are going, the arms are <laughs> up here. Okay. So the right arm's moving backwards and forwards, but it's just coming across the body a bit, okay? And is it working slightly differently to the left one? You'll be able to see it more from, from the back, actually. So Ali's arms are going slightly across the body, so she's a bit of a twister, okay? Can we have a look at the bounce? Okay, so there's a bit of bounce going up that way, okay? And if we look at what's happening here, Michael's gonna show us from the back as well. If you look at where the heel lift is, and this is about the pace that we normally run, okay? So there is very little heel lift, okay? So two things happen there. You're not using muscle groups at the back, so you're not engaging your glutes and your hamstrings, which are powerful muscles for running, okay? And also, because of this twisting, okay, it's causing a bounce there, okay? And a twist there as well in your torso, okay? And you're also over-sliding. 
So what do we mean by overstriding it? We're landing ahead of our center of gravity, okay? So Michael's just drawing the line now from the hip downwards, okay? And we're just gonna look at it frame by frame and look at the first touch of the left leg, left foot there, and we'll see that there's probably about, just about a foot overstriding on the left, okay? And then we'll look at the same side, maybe it's less than that. Okay, but then we'll, we'll look at the right side. So that's the left side landing, and you're landing heel toe. Okay, and there's the right one. The right one's coming in a bit shorter. Okay, and you're landing almost flat. Okay, so you're landing all uh, midfoot, as we say. Okay, whereas on the left one, you're landing more on your heel. Okay, so there's two ways that you're landing as well. So that causes an effect, but it's also there's a shadow as you come down as well. Um, so we should see it from back, Michael. Okay, and a couple of things happen. <laughs> Nobody saw that, don't worry. <laughs> well, you know what they say, the television puts uh, 10 pounds on you, that's why. Okay, that's what it is, so don't worry. Okay, let's look at the bounce again. There's also, um, if you look at what's happening when you're landing, okay, there's a shadow when you're landing. Okay, so we're really thumping it down. So as we come down, there's a bit of a collapse of the hip. So it's coming down, okay? One side more than the other. So if you see that angle, okay? And that means the glutes are working very well. What Simon, those of you who were in Simon's presentation earlier, he spoke a lot about core strength, okay? What we mean about core strength is not doing abdominals and not doing crunches, okay? But it's working the glutes and the whole uh, midsection, okay? Um, uh, strength work, but not in straight lines, not going that way again, it's working in rotational movements so then you can control it. Because remember, the muscles have got to work dynamically. So Ali, I would say you're a bit of a shuffler, you're a bit of a twister, and you're a bit of a thumper. <laughs> no, definitely don't give up, okay? definitely don't give up. Because all of these are minor things that you can change very quickly. Okay? And that's why a lot of your shins hurt and your toes hurt, because you're really thumping the ground. Okay? Particularly more on one side than the other, more on the left, always on the left. Okay? And we can see that you're overstriding on the left. So that could be one of the reasons as well. Okay? Ali, thank you very much. Thanks, Ali. You were very keen to get up, and you're being nudged by two different girls there, so you've got to get up. <laughs>